The winery that I work with is uh, up in Piedmont. They've been around since 1882, and they've always been in love with wine, but most specifically um, about this little region of Italy, which is one of the best in the world, which is uh, Barolo. So um, I kind of go around for the family here in the U.S. and really try to educate people on what the wine is, um, what it really means, and why it is so special. And so we do a lot of these events. We try to pair food and wine together to really help people understand. Uh, the wine. We did four different wines tonight. We uh, started with all the wines that are, we actually did all the wines that are very typical to this region. So for us in the Lange part of the Piemonte, we really want to focus on four different wines. The first one we did is called Gavi. It's actually 100% Cortese. It's a grape that by law is the only wine, uh, the variety you're allowed to use for it to make Gavi. And it, since it has a little bit of minerality and some really strong citrus notes, we felt that it would pair very well with uh, seafood, which is very traditional. So they decided to take it a step further and make it a little bit more modern in a twist and they paired it with a little bit of cucumber and beets, which went very nicely with the with the gabi. After that we did a Barbera di Alba, which is the most common everyday wine, red wine from this area, a Barbera di Alba as opposed to Asti or Monferrato. And uh, that usually requires some meaty notes, some gamey notes. So what we did is to hide that a little bit. We did a risotto with a chicken broth that really brought out that protein and then uh, with a little bit of mushroom and uh, parmigiano, so the acidity in the Barbera really, really went well with that cheesy notes and the mushrooms are a perfect foil for Barbera. And after that we did uh, the star of the show, which is actually the wine I'm holding right now, which is Barolo, which is kind of the mythical ethereal wine from this region. And that always goes with um, strong meats. So in this case we did an osobuco, which kind of was braised and fell off the bone, very tender, uh, with some vegetables and a broth, uh, a sauce that went very well with the Barolo, uh, the gaminess of the Barolo, the gaminess of the meat and the, and the wine. After that, we had a local bakery, Better Sweet Bakery, make a, a, a chocolate and hazelnut, which are two of the things we're most well known for in this region. Probably the best hazelnuts in the world with our uh, typical dessert wine, which is a Moscato di Asti, which is a little bit of a frizz and a peachy note almost that actually pairs very well with uh, um, hazelnuts. One of the things that's really important to this family is the vineyards and the history. So they've been around since 1882, so they think they know a couple things about this region, but um, it's really well tied into the history of this particular wine, Barolo, which has kind of come about in the 1880s. So that sense of history, that sense of pride and place. And for this family, um, to give an example of how important that is to them, they actually bought land after lusting and yearning for it for three generations. They finally got land in Barolo. So from 1882 to 1978, they finally got land in Barolo. They're so excited they took the name of the family off and replaced it with the name of the vineyard because for them it's all about nature. My favorite thing about the wine dinners is getting together um, with uh, friends and family and uh, you know there's always new people coming to them so um, meeting new people as well and uh, experiencing the different types of wine and uh, the different types of food and uh, pairing them together um, so I can you know bring that kind of knowledge back home and uh, use it in my own house you know when I'm making dinners at home. The pizza, I have to say to the true roots of Nona Silvia's. When it started, it opened up as a pizzeria, and uh, I think they've held true to their roots, and uh, they make the best pizza in Chicago. So every time I come here, it's the pizza. I mean, it's, it's always phenomenal. We live in Park Ridge, and we come to Nona Silvia's quite often. We enjoy their uh, wine tastings. The uh, food pairings are always wonderful. The chef does an excellent job all the time.